Hey students, welcome to the session. Now you might be wondering what am I doing here today? What are we going to discuss today? Well, you know that we have already done a session on understanding elementary shapes. So we covered all the concepts in just one session. We also talked about how we can measure angles using a protractor with the help of animations. But lot of not many of you asked me that, ma'am, if you could show us how we can actually use a protractor, how we can actually draw angles using a protractor, how we can actually measure them using a protractor, right? So you asked for it and we are here. All right, so today we will learn how we actually use protractor, right? How we can actually draw angles with the help of it. All right, so let's get started. Can you please switch the screen? Here you can see that I've already made these two angles that you can see here. First, we will learn how we can measure these angles, right? So this is the protractor. Now what we have to do is, you can see this is the baseline of the angle. This is the vertex of the angle. So this point, this midpoint of the protractor, it should coincide with the vertex here, right? And you can see this line, this baseline of the protractor should coincide with this baseline of the angle. Now the other line where it is coinciding on the markings on the protractor, markings are on the outer circle as well as inner circle, right? It's an acute angle. It will be lesser than 90 degree. So we'll be considering it is coinciding here, 50 degree, 130 degree. It would be 50 degrees that means. So our angle is acute. That's going to be here. We can see 50 degree. Whenever you are making angles, just one, suge one uh, suggestion I would give you, always use a pencil, a sharpened pencil, like I'm using a marker here so that you could clear see it but it's not the right thing because you could see that it's already thicker so your actual value of the angle might go one point one or two points up and down in that case so here this angle is 50 degree you can also mark it like this any name so how do we write it it's angle a b and c that's going to be 50 degree that's an acute angle in a similar manner let's measure the other angle that we have here so here the other one so in a similar manner using a protractor we will do that you can see again it is coinciding this midpoint with the vertex of the angle and this baseline is coinciding with the baseline on this protractor. Now again this angle is greater than 90 degrees right it's an obtuse angle you can see the mouth is bigger here. So obviously we would consider 60 degree or 120 degree that would be 120 degrees every time we consider the markings which are on the inner circle. So this over here is 120 degree this way you can mark and you can write you can just name it like this any name so it's angle pqr that's going to be equals to 120 degree so that's how we can uh, we can measure the angles using a protractor now next we have to learn how we can draw angles using a protractor all right so let's see that so here we have got this another got this another sheet all right so now we are going to draw angles. So now we have this, first let's make a line here, right, of any measurement, doesn't matter. Right, any measurement you can take. So this is the line. Now I have to draw the angle for this, right. So what I'll do is simply place the protractor here. Similar manner, the base line of this protractor should coincide with this line over here. And this center point should coincide with this first I mean the first end point over here like this. Now let's suppose I want to draw here 70 degrees. So it's an acute angle. We always consider the markings on the inner side. 70 is here. Put the point here and simply just draw it. And this angle over here is nothing. And that's going to be equals to 70 degree. This way you can just draw a line like this. This is 70 degree. You can just mark. You can just label. You can just name it. Angle ABC over here is 70 degrees and we know that this is basically an acute angle that's 70 degree now in a similar manner let's draw another angle let's suppose this time it is an obtuse angle right so to draw it what we will do simply let's make a line here right like this and in a similar manner let's suppose this time like we are drawing an obtuse angle so let's place the protractor here like this and let's suppose this time I want to draw, let's say 110 degree. I'll put a point here. And this way we are going to simply join it. And this is 110 degrees. Let's just mark it. This is P, Q and R. So angle P, Q, R is going to be 110 degrees. So that's how, that's how we can draw angles. Like this is an acute angle. That's an obtuse angle. Now in a similar manner, you can also draw. Can you please switch the screen? 
So in a similar manner, we can also you can also draw angles like this. You can try with different different me uh, measurement of angles. Try solve try drawing it, and if you face any difficulties, any issues, you know that you can always post your doubts in the comment section below. And also we have uh, basically we have come up with the doubts. Uh, you know that we will be coming up with doubt solving sessions very soon. So the link for the Google form is attached in the description below. You can post your doubts there as well. And do leave a comment for me in the comment section that was this video helpful for you.